Hello guys, today we meet again for the next sessions of my topics. So today I'm going to focus a bit on the calculations of mode. Calculation of modes. Basically, this will be the questions. Thank you for my assistant to write the questions. Okay, let's we have a look have a look at the questions. It is given 0.4 gram of magnesium ribbon reacted with the exactly exactly 22.2 uh, cm cubics of a hydrochloric acid of the concentrate concentrations of 1.5 it will produce a 400 cm cubic of the gas was formed from this reaction. The volume being measured at 25 cm uh, degrees Celsius and 180 m. So the questions now will be, you need to show that the calculated amount of the magnesium, hydrochloric acid and the hydrogen gas are consistent with the following equations. Well, in this question, the advantage uh, equation is given for you. So what is basically this question is about? Yes. Of course, some of the students ask me how to answer this type of questions. Basically, for your information, this is just a simple calculation of mole using a different situation. Using a different situation, as you can see. So you need to using you need to calculate the mole for each of it. Let's I redo I rewrite the equation for you. As you can see over here, Mg is given N plus with two HCl. And it produced NGCl2 plus H2. So, and one of the tips to answer this kind of chemistry question, you must able to extract, you must take out the information from the questions. As you can see, the information over here will be, of course, the mass of magnesium. And on the other side, we have the volume, volume of a hydrochloric acid with this sister concentrations and the other information will be the volume of the gas hydrogen gas produced through the experiment as you can see this is the information I would like to in, if you want to prove this ask you to show that the calculated amount of these things are consistent I will advise you to do this in a table form it will be better okay what shall I do yes I will do the table where it consists of magnesium. I have a hydrochloric acid. Yes, I also have a hydrogen gas. The information that given for each of it, the first one, the, it is given 0 0.4 gram of this thing. Okay, then I have this 22.2 cm cubic with 1.5 uh, molar. This is the, it is referred to the concentration. It's the same unit, okay? It's the same things with the different units. Okay, of course, on the other, uh, other hand, we have a hydrogen gas. It is in a 400 cm cubic, cm cubic, and they give you some information over here. As you can see over here, they give you 25 degrees Celsius and 180 m. This is indirectly referred to the RTP, room temperature, pressure, volume. So we need to relate this with a molar volume calculation, of course. So slowly we know this thing has been done at 25 degrees Celsius and 180 m, referred to RTP. Okay, so we go. Of course, this is about the calculation of mole. That's why calculations of mole. Okay, as you can see, for the first one, they give you mass. So we need to interrelate what is the formula of mass that is related to the mole. In this case, as you can see, the right answer will be if you can see, come on, can you see a bit clearer? Okay, the mole will equal to mass subdivided by the molar mass. The mm here I refer as a molar mass. On the other hand, we need to relate it. This is volume and this is molar. Am I right? The calculation of the formula mole for this kind of questions will be mv over 1000. And on the other hand, on the other hand, we have this. It is something related to volume. This is volume. Am I right? Okay, this is volume. As you can see, the, uh, the information or the calculation of a mole will be mole equivalent to volume. Volume is this volume, of course, and subdivide with molar 
volume. For your information, molar volume for RTP, RTP it is a standardized, it is 24 dm cubic over mole. Therefore, there is one thing you need to be careful, the information is 24 dm cubic. And since here is cm cubic, you need to change it into dm cubic, but subdivide it by 1000 and you get 0 0.4 dm cubic. Okay, so we already gathered those informations. Now we're going to do the calculations. Of course, you know this is the mole, mole, and mole. How you are going to calculate each of it. The first one, the mass, the mass is given over there is 0 0.4 gram and the molar mass of this thing is 24 gram over mole and on the other hand we have this mole equivalent to 22.2 and of course the uh, sorry a molar and volume so it should be 1.5 multiplied with the volume 22.2 subdivide with thousand then of course we will calculate and over here mole again you get 0 0.4 and subdivide by 24 okay so by press uh, pressing to the calculator this divide this and you get 0 0.0167 mole as you can see it is mole and this one when you subdivide this, you get roughly 0 0.0334 mole, of course. And this one, when you divide, it will give you the same answer, 0 0.0167. Actually, you are trying to do the mole calculation. The last part of it is actually you need to calculate the ratio. The ratio. So when you are talking about the ratio, of course you need to take the simplest ratio. The simplest ratio, this one, the simplest number in this case will be this. Therefore, we have 0 0.0167 divided by the 0 0.0167. On the other hand, 0 0.0334 divided by 0 0.0167. Again, we are taking the ratio. You must remember, we are taking the ratio on this one, 0 0.0167 divided by 0 0.0167. Now press the calculator, you will get the answer 1, this one 2, and this one 1. Actually, we're done with the question. Look at here, magnesium is 1, hydrochloric acid is 2, and the hydrogen gas is 2. 1, 2, 1. This ratio is exactly the same like this. 1, 2, 1. We have proof we have shown the calculation of the amount. Thank you for it. Wait for more upload from my uh, my my site. Thank you.